Hey, welcome to Color Up. Today we're gonna to talk about the mathematical best way to play this game of craps. Now, it doesn't mean that you're gonna win every time, no strategy wins every time, but playing this way, you lower the house edge more than any other method, and you have a better chance of coloring up in the long run. The strategy I'm talking about today is a three-point molly. So if you're a beginner or new to the game, this is a fantastic way to play. Putting the math aside, these are easy to understand bets and you can follow along. And if you play like this, you actually kind of look like a pro even as a beginner. So after I describe the strategy, I'm gonna roll it out with both a $5 table and a $10 table. So you can kind of take a look and see how uh, the money kind of goes up and down with this particular strategy. All right, when the puck is off, we're starting a new game. So we're gonna start on the pass line bet. Now technically, the don't pass is ever so slightly better with a hundreds of a percent you know, lower house edge, but most players don't play the don't pass. Most players will stick to the pass line. Mathematically, we're talking about pennies difference over hundreds and hundreds of dollars bet. So really just bet the side that you like. When one of the box numbers is rolled, the puck is gonna be turned onto the number. So let's say it's the six. Now the casino will allow you to make an odds bet behind your pass line bet. This is a zero house edge bet, which means they actually pay you true and fair depending on the risk you're taking. Now the pass line does have a house edge of 1.41%. But when you combine the bets, we have a $20 bet, but only this bet, $10, is subject to the house edge. So we actually lower our overall house edge on the $20. Today, I'm just gonna talk about single odds, which means our odds is equal to our pass line bet. Some tables will allow more, the most common being three, four, five times odds, which means you're allowed three, four, or five times however much you bet on the pass line. So if we have 10, you're allowed 30, 40, or 50, and that just depends on which number the puck is on. So now we've established a great bet and a fantastic, you can't beat this bet in the casino, a fantastic additional bet. Now, if you don't have the bankroll to make this an additional bet, don't worry about it. In the end, it doesn't matter. You're still going to lose 1.41% mathematically over time of whatever you bet on the pass line bet. So the odds bet is great, but in the end, it doesn't benefit the player or the casino. It only benefits you if we're rolling numbers. It increases your volatility. You have more money, you have more in action, so you can win more or you can lose more. All right, back to the strategy. We have one point or one number. What we're gonna do now is make a come bet to get a second number or a second point. So let's say the dice roll and we get a five. At this point, we'll put another $10 in the come and ask the dealer to give us odds on our five and he'll set you up with odds on your five. Now let's go for our third point or third number by making a $10 bet in the come. A number rolls, let's say it's the 10 this time, it'll travel to the 10, well the dealer will move it. And then we're gonna make a bet for the odds, ask the dealer odds on our 10 and it'll set you up. Now we have a three point molly. We have a bet on the five, six and 10. Now mathematically there's no reason to stop at three. People just like to stop at three as far as how much they put at risk. You could stop at one bet, you could just make two, three, you can continue to make bets, four, five, and six. You can fill up all these numbers and just continuously make bets. Mathematically, it doesn't make a difference. So whatever you're comfortable with, whether it's one bet, two, a lot of players like to go with three. It kind of balances out their risk versus reward. So we just sit back at this point and hope that the five, six, or 10 rolls, and that's great. So if the 10 rolls, the 10 would come down, we'd get paid actually uh, $20 for our odds, $10 for a flat bet. So we'd actually win $30 for this bet. We could rack that up. And at this point, we only have two bets. So we'll make another come bet. So we always try to have three points. Let's say this time in eight rolls goes to the eight. Again, we could ask the dealer to put odds on our eight. Now we're rooting for the five, six, and eight. But if the seven rolls, all of our bets lose and come down. But that's the nature of craps. We're gonna roll out a $5 player at $300 bankroll and a $10 player with $600. If you're at a $15 table, just triple the amounts of the $5. So we'll start on the pass sign, $5 and $10. And let's see what happens. 
All right, here we go. Shooters coming out, looking for a point four for the hard way. So both of our players have a bet on the four. And our first player is going to put down single odds, $5 in odds. And our $10 player is going to put down $10 in odds. And then each of them are going to get an additional number by placing a combat. When you're placing a combat, just put it in the come in front of you. Don't reach over and put it in weird places. If you're here on the table, just put it in front of you. If you're over here, you would put it over here. This player, he's just going to put it right in front of him. This will help you know where your bets are and the dealer. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. 10, 10 the hard way. All right, so we're covering both the outside numbers. So he's gonna move to the 10 and then we're gonna throw down money and ask the dealer to place odds on our 10, please. So he'll take your bet and put them up there just like that. And then we're going to make an additional come bet to get our third point. All right, here we go. 10, all right. Now, when your come bet is the same as the winning number, this could be brought down and paid and this brought back up, but that's just kind of a lot of work. So what dealers will do is they'll just calculate the winnings for you. So here we would win $20 in odds and 10 for a flat bet. So we're gonna win $30. So what they'll do is take $30 and pay you next to your come bet and say you're off and on for $30. This player here is going to win $10 for the odds, five for the flat. So this player is off and on for $15. You can just take that money and rack it up. So if we can continue to repeat numbers over and over like that, that would be fantastic. But let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get a third number going. Five. So our come bets are gonna to travel to the five. So these will both come to the five. Again, we're gonna do place our bet in the come for odds. Now there's a little issue here. On the five and nine, the payoff for the odds bet is three to two, which means you always want your odds to be divisible by the number of two. You can't do that with a five. So you would actually be rounded down or lose money. So you always want to make this an even number. So I, I like to say even odds on the odd numbers, five and nine are odd, or if it ends in E, five and nine, they both end with the letter E, you put even odds. Those are two ways to kind of help you remember. So to make this even, we could bump it up to $6 or we can make it a nice round number of $10. Um, we'll just go ahead, you know what? Let's do it the old fashioned way. Let's make it a $6 bet. So I'm gonna give four and change and just make this $6 in odds. And then the $10 player, he's always, that amount's always even. So that'll be, that'll work out just fine. <clears throat> Maybe if I win again, I'll bump it up to $10 in odds. Remember, you don't have to add the odds bet. You're just making additional bets. So if you'd like to risk more, go up to table maximum with these odds bets. All right, now we have the four, five, and 10. Let's see if we can roll those numbers back. Yo, 11. All right, that doesn't affect us. Here we go. Nine. And the seven. All right, so we're going to actually lose all the bets. They're going to come down this point. They're going to sweep everything away. So we only got one hit, so we're probably down on both of our shooters there. All right, we're going to have a puck's going to come off, and we're going to have a new shooter. So let's go ahead and get five on the pass line. $10 on the pass line for the $10 player. New shooter coming out. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Nine point is gonna be nine. So remember, we want even odds. So this player will do $6 in odds. This player, he's just gonna do 10. And then we're gonna make a come bet for each player. And here we go. Looking for another number or we'd be happy with that nine. Six, six easy. Our bets are gonna to travel to the six. So let's drop some money for our odds, all right. Get those set up, and we're gonna make an additional combat. I don't need, I need some change here. So let me go ahead and change out $100 here. For our player, and we're gonna put 10 of it in the com. For our third number. All right, here we go. 
Six, six, easy. So our oncoming bet is the same as our bet that's already established. So they're just gonna pay you the profit. So our odds is gonna win 12. Our flat bet is gonna win 10. So 22 off and on. Here we're gonna win six for our odds, five for our flat. So $11 off and on. And then you'll be responsible to pick up your money. And we're ready to roll again. Here we go. Eight, eight the hard way. So our bet's gonna travel up into the eight. So we'll drop the dealer some money for some odds. Get those set up. Now we've got great numbers, six, eight, and nine. We just need to roll them back. Here we go. Six. Now if you don't have a come bet, these bets have to come down. So they'll come down. This bet here is gonna get paid 22. And here we're going to get 11. And some dealers, they may, you know, if they're kind of full service, they may pass it off to you. And then you'll be responsible to, again, we only have two points where we wanna get a third, so we'll rack our winnings and then just get another comeback going. All right, here we go. Let's keep them dice rolling. Five, my dice rolled there, but it was a five. Oh, let me try and get this off the bad number. So he's gonna to travel to the five. Remember, we want even odds, so this player, you know what, and he's won one, maybe he's gonna risk a little. He's gonna do $10 in odds. Same with our $10 player. Now we got the five, eight, and nine. A lot of dice combos working for us. And we're gonna roll the six right in the hole. That's okay. 10 and 10 down there on the end. We don't have a bet on the 10. Let's move it in a little bit. Shooter, seven out. No good, ouch. All right, so this is all gonna come down. So far we've just, we're not repeating numbers back. So again, although mathematically the best way to play this game, if the dice don't roll your numbers, what good does the math do, right? All right, we're gonna have a new shooter. And let's get our bets down. $5 on the pass. $10 for our $10 player. And see what happens. Here we go. Six the hard way. Six hard. Six is our point. So we'll mark that up. And we'll get put down of our odds. These are self-service odds. We just place them ourselves behind the line. And then we'll get our come bets down. $5 and $10. Anything that happens up here, this is the dealer's area. Anything that happens down there, that's player, they can deal themselves basically. All right, let's see another number. Six right back, point winner. So here the dealer, you're gonna get paid six for every five in the back or $12, 10 in the front. Here we get $6 for our odds and $5 for our line. These come bets are gonna travel up to the six and then this puck, because we rolled our point, is actually gonna go off. So we can rack up all of our money. And we're basically gonna be going into a new game. So we'll rack this up. And we want $10 for a new game, $5 for a $5 player. Now for these line bets, you can't have an odds bet because the puck is off, right? It's the start of a new game. Our six, however, is in the middle of a game. One thing I haven't mentioned about these bets, these are contract bets, which means once you make the bets, you can't take them down or lower them. And they're always working. So while a seven would win for the pass line, a seven would cause these bets to lose. Now, because these come bets are actually in the middle of the game, if you'd like, you could ask the dealer, well, it couldn't come out of the dealer stack, but you could add odds to your bet. Now, by default, when the puck is off, your odds are off, but you could always override that by asking the dealer to go on with your bets. For us, a lot of you might be new watching this, we're not gonna worry about that. So we're not gonna have odds working when the puck is off. So new game, same shooter coming out. Let's see what happens. Seven, all right? In that case, if we had odds, they would have lost, right? If we had them working. All right, so these bets are actually gonna lose. 
but we can use that to pay off our winning bets down here. 711 is a winner on the pass line. So we can just rack that up. No harm, no real foul there. Puck is off, same shooter. Another seven, all right? So that's just gonna be a win for our player. Oh, $10 and $5. You can rack that up, do whatever you like with it. Same shooter coming out. Here we go, looking for a number. Five, point's gonna be five. And now we can add our odds. Remember, five and nine, we want even odds. So we'll go, um, we'll back it down to $6. And here, $10 single odds is gonna be $10 bet. And let's get our come bets working. All right, shooter, let's see some numbers. Nine, Niener nine, center field nine. Come bets are gonna travel. We're gonna drop money for our odds. Ask the dealer, please place odds on my nine. I'll set you up. And we're gonna get another come bet going for each player. All right, let's see that five or nine. Nine right back, there we go. Here we're gonna win 15 for the odds, 10 for the flat, so $25 off and on for our player. Our $6 is gonna be nine for the odds, five for the flat, so $14. You know, they might say, hey, drop me a dollar, player, so you give him a dollar, and he'll pay you $15, or 15 for one, and you're off and on. So you can just rack up your winnings and go about your, go about your betting. All right, here we go. Eight, eight the hard way. It seems like we've been rolling a lot of hard ways. All right, so he's gonna travel to the eight, and then we're gonna drop some money for our odds. Dealer will set us up here. Now we have the five, eight, and nine, and we're just hoping to see them roll. Six, six easy. Not one of our numbers. Six easy. Come on, just roll over a little bit. There you go, five point hit. So our $10 is gonna win 15 for the odds, 10 in the front. And back here, our $6 is gonna pay nine. I'm gonna pay out 10 and take your one. So 10 for one or $9 and then five in the front. And the puck is gonna go off. So we can go ahead, rack all this up. Now we've got our initial bets, the puck is off. We have odds on our number, but remember by default, they always follow the puck. So our odds are off, but these bets on the eight and nine are working. All right, here we go. Same shooter. Looking for a number three, three craps. On the come out roll, that's a loser for our pass lines. Those bets will lose. Now these guys, remember they're in the middle of the roll, so they don't lose to the two, three, and 12. This player is gonna to have to replace their bets if they'd like to continue. And let's see what happens. Here we go. Eight, eight the hard way. So our puck's gonna go on the eight. Now remember, our odds, they were off. So they just get returned to you, but our flat bets are winners because we rolled it. So $10 will win $10. $5 will win $5. And that'll go out to the player. Same here. And now if we'd like, we could just use that as our use some of that money as our odds bet. And then we have the eight and the nine. So let's go ahead and make a bet in the come to get a new number. So we rock up a little profit there. Our odds bets are now working because the puck is on. And here we go. 10, 10 easy. He's gonna to travel to the 10. They pay well for the odds, but they're a little harder to hit. Less dice probability. So the dealer will set you up. Now we have the eight, nine, and 10. Let's see if we can roll up there on that high side of the table. Eight, eight hard, point hit. So we're gonna get $12 for our odds, $10 for a flat, $6 for our odds, five for our flat there. I have to get some more change for the dealer. And we rolled our point, so the puck is gonna go off. So we can go ahead and rack this up. Of 
We're back on the line. Our nine and 10 are working. Our odds are off. And we have the same shooter coming out, looking for a new point. Three, three craps, that's no good for the line. So those will come down. We'll just replace it. And here we go. Yo, 11, all right, that's a winner for us on the line. So we're just kind of going back and forth a little bit there. Here we go. do si do dice off the table, no roll. Let's get a new die here. Three, craps, three. <laughs> back, literally going back and forth. So let's go ahead and rebet that. Yo, 11. All right, this is interesting. All right, back and forth we go. $10 win there, five win there. Go ahead and rack these up. Let's see what happens. Yo, 11. There we go. All right, we broke the streak a little bit, but we are throwing craps numbers like crazy, or horn numbers, I should say, like crazy. Let's go ahead and rack that up. Now these are bad bets, but if you could see in the future and knew that the uh, 11 was going to roll, it obviously pays very well. But we're going to stay away from these bets as new players, typically. All right, here we go. Still looking for a point. Eight, eight the hard way. So eight is going to be our new point. Puck is going to go on the eight. We're going to go ahead and get our odds bet down. And we have the eight, nine, and ten again. Eight, right back, point hit. I think these last few times we've been rolling points. All right, so $12 for the odds, 10 for our flat bet, six in odds here, and five for our flat bet. Puck is gonna go off, and we can rack up some more money. It's always fun when you're racking money. All right. Same shooter, we rolled our point, puck is off. Here we go, looking for a new point, new number. Six the hard way. So the puck's gonna move to the six. Let's go get ahead and get our odds bet down. And away we go, looking for that six, nine, or 10. Five, fever five, no field five. Shake them, throw them, there's the nine. So this bet's gonna come down and the odds are gonna win 15. The flat is gonna win 10. So we're gonna win 25 here. This player is gonna win nine for the odds, five for the flat or 14. I'm gonna pay out 15 for one and then the player could rack this up. Now let's say we're just gonna wind down. You don't have to keep continuously making come bets if you'd like. I think we've got a little bit of a win. So I'm gonna start collecting my money and not risking more. So I think I'm gonna finish after the shooter. Maybe I won't put a new come bet up. So now I just have the six and 10. Less risk, but also less ways to roll. So maybe we can roll both those numbers and get out of here. Nope, the seven, but that's okay. All of our bets are gonna come down and we'll count it up and see where we're at. Puck is off, game over. All right, let's see where we go, where we stand. Got some green in here, kind of didn't keep good track of my rack. A little bit of a mess. All right, uh, one rail of this is 500. One stack of red is 100, so 600. So we've got our buy-in and we obviously have a profit here. So we've got 675. There we go, 100, 125, 150. So we'll put this 100, 150, 165, 170, 175. So our profit is 175. We can color that up to uh, our total is going to be, f there we go, five, Six, seven hundred and seventy-five dollars colored up. All right. So 
So we did good with that player. And this player should also be a winner, but obviously they didn't play as big, so they're not going to have as big a win. Let's see where we stand. One, 200, 300's our buy-in, 325, 330, 335, so we can color up for 335, a little extra there. So both of our players are winner, obviously the more you bet, the more you win, also the more you have at risk if the dice didn't go your way. But hopefully playing with this strategy, you know, you have plenty of fun at the table. Here we got a 10% win, so you know, you're basically beating the stock market and uh, having a lot of fun at the game of craps. So there you go, let me know what you think down in the comments and until next time, good luck on Coloring Up.